says our destiny. Says our destiny. Hey, says our destiny. What I go on, Bombshell Squad? squad. Welcome, Welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Shell here and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from our thumbnail and the title, we're going to be doing a video today. I'm going to be turning her into me. Y'all already know who this is and for all my new subscribers, this is my sister. She also has a YouTube channel. Her name is Olivia Face. Yeah. I'm going to link it right here in the video. I'm also going to link her channel down below. So make sure that you guys head over to her channel and go show her some love. Definitely. But I've been seeing this video on YouTube floating around for months now and I really, really wanted to try it out. We live in two different boroughs in New there York. So um, we see each other a lot, but not enough time to like sit and film a video and, you know, like relax and chill and yeah. drink some something that Nothing. my sister don't even drink. <laughs> <laughs> my sister did not even drink. No. So, um, <clears throat> I went ahead and purchased these shirts and got my hair done. Y'all know I never wear bobs. This is my first time wearing a bob. And it's I don't so even nice. Like, it's she so likes nice. how it looks. Oh, I'm kind of like iffy because I don't even wear weaves because y'all know I go straight to wigs because I don't, I hate to leave my hair out because my hair is so thin. Yeah. So I'm struggling up top. I'm probably going to do fusion up here just to make it look fuller and more what? natural. Fusion? What's that? It's where you take like strands of hair and like take strands of your hair and glue it together. So it, it's like a fuller oh. thing up here like my sister has longer thicker hair so she can yeah. wear a weave and you won't even know that it's a weave but I can't yeah. because my hair is short it's hard to blend but I managed to pull off this hairstyle and a lot of people like how it looks yeah so um I got that done thanks to mommy that did both of our hair slayed our <laughs> hair so um if you guys are interested in seeing how I beat this beautiful face into looking like moi please keep on watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already <clears throat> and also turn on your post notification guys so you Ooh, know I was gonna say I thought you was gonna say and also subscribe to her too <laughs> 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 well, okay then. Anyway, subscribe to mine as well. Rude. Didn't I say go to her channel and show her some love? Really like, good. she's crazy. And also make sure that you guys turn <laughs> <laughs> Rude. So rude. Oh my god, turn on those post notifications so you know every time I upload. Make sure you guys that you go to my sister's channel, subscribe to her channel, catch up on some of her videos because she does makeup beauty beauty videos as well. She even introduced her hubby over there, so mm -hmm. get to know them and their situation that's <laughs> happening. I cannot. <laughs> okay, guys, too much rambling, too much chit-chatting, but y'all get the drift. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I beat her face, please continue to watch. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do is her brows and my sister she swears by the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Never, ever, ever want to try to use pencils, so I'm going to switch it up today, and I'm going to use pencil on her brows. And I'm so, this is the part that I'm like, I'm super scared about her brows because her brows are dramatic, and I'm nowhere close to, like, having dramatic brows. And they have to be on point at all times. Like, I don't play about my <laughs> brows, so this is the part that I'm most nervous about. So... Yeah. And they have to be twins. So it's They like, have to be twins, not sisters. Uh, a lot of people say that your brows are sisters and not twins, but no. They need to look alike because if they're sisters, okay, say for example they're sisters, right? Me and her are sisters. I'm skinny. She's more on the thicker side. I don't want to look like her, my brows. I don't want my brows to look like we're sisters. They need to be twins, you know? So... Oh, and another thing to note about my brows, I hate when they're too far apart. Just a quick note, you know, just a little side note. Oh, well, because well, they ain't going to be locking up tonight. Because if they're far <laughs> apart, then my nose contour won't be on fleek. Oh. All right, guys, I don't know if I mentioned, but to fill in her brows, I use the NYX eyebrow pencil along with the MAC eyebrow pencil 
This one is in Spike, and the next one is in Expresso. So Expresso and Spike, that's what I use for her brows. Then I'm just going to go in with my MAC concealer. This is in the shade NC45. She never uses this, even though I told her to how many times. Hopefully the color is not too dark on her because it's the perfect shade for me. And she uses such a lighter shade Ooh, than I do. What, what is this? Bobby Brown? Oh my gosh, that thing... Oh, yes. Along with the Morphe 432 um, flat brush. All right, so we're going to move into the eyes. I am done with the brows, and I feel comfortable where they are. They could be a little bit better because it's not what I usually see on her face, but I'm it's turning. So weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's so weird, but I'm turning her into me, so she needs to keep these, okay? So I'm going to conceal. Yes. I'm going to um, prime her lids, and I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C12. This shade is what I use to highlight my face, but... This child uses such a lighter shade than I do, so... Because I'm lighter than, than you are, like a shade lighter. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Blending Sponge, and it's, it's fully damped, and I'm just going to blend out her lids. Then to set that into place, I'm just going to go in with the Makeup Revolution setting powder. I'm just going to dab it on the back of my hand and use the same sponge to just place it on her lids to set the concealer into place. Alright guys, this is the palette that I chose today to start out with. This is the Magic Palette from Juvia's Place. And I chose this palette because of these two beautiful ladies right here. Because we're two beautiful ladies right here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to first go into the palette and start with this color called Nana. This color right here. And Nana is just a beautiful kind of like, um, I would say kind of like a tangerine like a light tangerine shade and I'm just going to use this to add into her crease. My sister's eye shape is completely different from mine. Like I have all the lid space yeah, in the world. Yeah. She doesn't have any lid space. Nope. Now I'm just noticing that. Now I don't you know. see when I tell you that I don't like wearing eyeshadow because it doesn't look good on me. I don't have a lot of lid space so you know I feel like I'm just jumbling up all these colors and you know I hate when the colors are too close to my brows so it just doesn't I just feel like it doesn't look good on me. Is this what it feels like to get your makeup done? I'm guessing. I never got my makeup done before either. Remember I did do your makeup that one? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Yeah. Alright, so for the second shade, guys, to smoke out the outer corner and just kind of like go directly underneath that shade. To semi-cut the crease, I'm not going for like a that sharp, crazy cut crease, but just something very glamorous. So I'm going to stick to the same palette, and I'm going to go into this shade called Zakia. And I'm just going to take this on my more, on her Morphe E22 brush, because these are her brushes. And I'm just going to keep it right in the outer corner. <laughs> I can't believe you're actually nervous right now. And stay directly underneath that shade. But, oh my God, like, there's no space here. This is crazy. <laughs> I told you, I have zero eyelid space. Like, people think that eyeshadow looks good on everyone. Like, no. Eyeshadow, like certain looks, doesn't look good on everyone. What I'm going to do is add some concealers on her lid before I add the shimmer that I'm going to add. And you guys can take any concealer that you want. This is just one that I got from the beauty supply store that I really like because the consistency is so thick. And the shimmer just stick to it like glue. This is called Lust Rare and this is in the shade Light. So that's what it looks like and I'm just going to basically take this on my fingers because I did wash my hands and I'm just going to place this on her lid. I'm not going to use a brush because I don't want it to be those clean cut crease. So I'm just going to take this on my finger and place it directly on her lid. Ooh, you know it's creamy when it's a little bit sticky like it's yeah. hard to... Yeah. You feel yeah. it, right? Mm -hmm. It's super creamy. I feel that it's creamy. 
All right, you guys, so for the shimmer on the lid, I wanted something very gold and pretty and not a gold that we're normally used to, kind of like a darker, more richer gold. So I'm going to go into my Colored Rain um, Cheers to Beauty palette, and I'm going to take this gold shade right here, and this shade is called uh, Nightingale. So this gold shade right here called Nightingale, and I'm just going to take it on this brush. This brush is also one of the brush from the brush sets from Amazon. Um, it's just a flat shader brush. You can use any brush that you have and I'm just going to use this to place it directly on her lids. And I love this gold shade because it has like speckles of black but you can't really see it that much. I'm going to go back into the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to take this dark purple shade on the corner and this shade is called iffy really really rich purple color like oh I'm gonna take this on the same e22 brush and I'm just gonna put this right in her outer corner and slightly blend it into her crease and you can spend as much or little time as you want on this shade um, I just spend a lot of time on it because I wanted it to be extremely dark on the outer corner so you guys probably can't see how long I spent on the shadow from me speeding up the video but oh, no, Steve. <laughs> leave Steve alone <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what my babe's doing you can't talk to him probably thinking about me. <laughs> He's not thinking about you. <laughs> Babe, are you thinking about me right now? I think he is. If I'm thinking about him, he's thinking about me. So her husband is in the military and he has drills this weekend. So he's away for the weekend. Hence the reason why she's here and we got we have time to film. So she's like super worried about her husband right now. Like, I wonder if he's thinking about me. No, he's not thinking about you. He is thinking about me. The man is probably climbing up some hill right now with 100 pounds. He's thinking about me. I know he is because I sense it. I cannot. I cannot. So I'm going to go back into the same palette and I'm going to take the very first shade that we did and I'm going to just use it to blend out right at the top just so that there's no harsh lines because we don't want that, okay? Okay. Alright you guys, this is the part that I struggle with even when I'm doing my eyes because I'm not used to this. I'm just getting used to it this is the NYX white liquid liner and this is just what it looks like I'm gonna use it to carve out the gold on her eyes and don't pay her no attention right now she's mad annoying like always <laughs> I'm just gonna use this to basically carve out the gold and just add a little bit of drama to the eye it's always best if you do one swipe go up. no let me do what I'm doing Jesus this eye is gonna be the struggle oh So now that I'm done with the eyeshadow, I'm going to leave the lower lash line until I'm done with her face. But I'm just going to go in on her top lashes. And I'm just going to use the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara just to get those prepped and ready for lashes. Open your eyes. Ew, you put on mascara first? Yeah. Done with her eyes for now. I'm going to move to her face. And the first thing I'm going to do is just clean up all this fallout down here because we don't want that underneath her makeup it's just too much like all this purple all this glitter we don't need all of that i'm gonna start with her face and for primer i'm just gonna go in with the fenty beauty faux filter primer that's what it's called or just fenty beauty primer fenty beauty primer and y'all know this primer works for anyone and everyone so she actually uses this herself so foundation we're gonna use the matte poreless foundation from maybelline and she uses the shade 335 like look at that oh my god <laughs> oh look at it it's like my chest shade yeah it is my face is darker than my chest it's oh i forgot how this foundation works i haven't used it in that long she is so different for me like I don't use half the amount of product that my sister does and she always say you use more product no honey like 
she used it so much. Ugh, I don't know. I'm like, just like very particular with how I like my makeup. Yeah, she likes it crazy, crazy full coverage. Like I don't, I don't wear that much. Mm -hmm. I have my days when I accidentally put too much, but it's not very often. And I'm also OCD, so if I put a lot on this side, a lot has to go on this side. I'm going to give her neck a little bit of something. Oh something. gosh, yes. <laughs> I do not put foundation on my neck, guys. I don't. I don't. It messes up your clothes. It stains everything. I don't care if my neck looks different. That's just my personal preference. I'm not telling you guys not to put foundation on your neck if you like to do that. Put but foundation, blend it into your neck. How about that? Blank, make sure it's blended along with your face. Gosh. And then all of your all of your clothes and everything that you wear and it touches your neck will just look a hot mess. I mean, you know, you just got to give to give. Something's got to give. All right, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution concealer to conceal her face. And I'm going to try C10. Oh, this is super light. Okay, you can blend it with the nine. Let me try C11. I use C11, so. Mm. I need it in, in between. Yeah. See, the thing with this foundation is it's not yellow enough. Foundation or concealer? I mean, concealer. I always say that. I always mess up and say something that I don't want to say it's not yellow enough so that's the reason why the shades are a little bit off even though they have a lot of shades they did an amazing job with creating all those shades the shades are just not yellow enough mm -hmm. for black girls like most of, most of them are more of like pink undertones, nudish mm -hmm. undertones. Some of them even look a little bit gray undertone. Like most most women of color use a a yellow tone con under a yellow undertone concealer. So mm -hmm. they did a really good job at creating those shades, but it needs a little bit more work. And then like always, what I always say when you blend your concealer, it just tends to kind of get out of the area sometimes that you want. Sometimes the edges are not even blended properly. So it's always best to go back into the same sponge that you use on the side with your foundation and just go around those edges. Sometimes I'll even go on top of the concealer just to tone it down a little bit if, um, if it turns out lighter. So that's what I'm doing. I'm know. just going to use back the same Makeup Revolution setting powder that I used on her lids. Um, I've been trying this out as well on my face for the past couple of days and it's really not that bad at all. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Ben Nye Banana Powder. While she bakes with the powder, I'm just going to go in with the Anastasia Contour Kit and this is medium to tan. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what this stuff looks like anyway, so... Kind of pointless to showing it but do you use the second darker yeah color? i use this one and okay. i use this one on my forehead because i don't want my forehead to be too dark okay so she slightly kind of used what i use i use this shade as well to contour and this is the morphe m523 brush you chisel those cheeks oh my face is looking snatched already Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead now and dust off all the powder after the contour. And then to set her overall face, I'm just going to use this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Tan. Okay guys, so for blush, I'm going to use this MAC Blush in Burnt Pepper. It's a really pretty pink shade. And I'm going to put it like I normally do myself. I'm going to keep it on the back half of her cheekbones. And don't worry if her face is still looking a little bit light. Once we add some um, setting spray and everything, all of that is going to blend into place. Um, this setting powder looks a little bit light on you for some reason. I don't know if I put 
too much, but on my face... It's probably the concealer, because you were saying the concealer is... Oh, yeah, it's probably the concealer. And then I'm going to go into highlighter, and I'm going to use the Anastasia highlighter in So Hollywood with this Morphe fan brush. I think this is M10, right? No, M310. Did not put highlighter back there. You put it here? Yeah, right on my cheekbone. Okay, girl. It's so weird doing it on this side because I'm right-handed, so mm -hmm. I could do everything good on the right side, mm -hmm. nothing good on the left. I don't know what it is, but the entire left side of my face is just super, like, um... Irritating? Sensitive. Like, it just feels, like, tender. That's the word. Oh. I already did, so it's okay. I do, so... And then what I like to do to tone down my highlighter, because sometimes it could look a little bit ashy, is just take um, Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow and just add that right on top. Bronze Glow is, lot, is a lot more bronzy, so it looks really, really pretty on um, darker skin tones, even though my sister is not as dark as I am. But it still looks really nice on all skin tones, but it just gives women of color a little bit more of a bronzy look than that ashy look that we can get from other highlighters. I don't know, my hair is looking, my face is looking snatched, honey. My hair is looking super cute today. I don't know if it's because my edge is late. Alright guys, so now I'm going to go back into the eyes before I finish off the face. And for the lower lash line, I'm first going to take this MAC Lip Pencil in Night Moth. It's a really dark, really dark purple burgundy tone shade it's very similar to that purple we added on the outer corner to smoke it out from the Juvia's Place palette so I'm just going to use that to place right on her lower lash line then to um, kind of blend out that purple so it doesn't look so harsh I'm just going to take um, the Kia from the Juvia's Place palette and it's the same like orange tone shade that we used that, that second shade and I'm just going to put this right underneath the purple to smoke that out. I'm going to take this white shade from the Anastasia Times Nicole Guerrero palette and I'm just going to use that white shade called Forever Lit and place it right in her inner corners. I'm just going to use the Big Shot Mascara as well to place it right on her lower lashes. Add some drama. Your lashes are so long. Where are these from? Oh, beauty supply. Dollar <laughs> something. Alright, and for lashes, we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> we're going to use these lashes from the Beauty Supply Store, and these are the Stardell Lash. <laughs> And this is what she's gonna get on her lashes today. Guys. She's laughing at me because my lashes are a dollar. Listen, okay? <laughs> these lashes got to go. Okay. okay. This is this is what I use. This is what you need. That's a quick dry. Okay. Come put these on real quick. All right, you guys. So we went ahead and did the lashes off camera because ain't nobody got time to be sitting here twenty minutes putting on no lash. So I'm gonna go ahead and set her face with the makeup makeup urban decay um chill makeup setting spray and i'm just gonna give baby girl some setting spray and last but not least we're gonna do the lips i'm so excited you guys that this video is done now my nude and my sister's nude is a little bit different so for my nude i used um razor um from ColourPop. this is the it's my ray ray collab you it's no longer it. available but yeah it's no longer available but it doesn't matter i just use that it has a little bit of a pink undertone but it's a cute color on me but on my sister i'm gonna use cookie from ColourPop in their lippy sticks so i'm gonna first line her lips with what is this okay, i'm gonna use this yeah so i'm gonna use true brown k from kylie cosmetics 
And I'm just going to lightly line her lips with this. Slightly turn to me. Then I'm just going to go in with Cookie from ColourPop. And I would love to see how this how this color looks on me. It, I think it would be way too light. But it's a pretty nude color. And I've been looking for... I've been looking, it's so hard to find nudes, like, oh my god, for my skin tone. But I'm probably going to try this and see how it looks. And then after her lips, we're just going to go ahead and dress her up in the same top that I'm wearing. Throw on some earrings and we'll be right back to finish up this video. <clears throat> Alright you guys, so here is the final look. What do you guys think? Do we look alike? <laughs> Hi. But Hi. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> She's so crazy. But anyways, I wanted to say that I was super nervous at first. I don't know if I said that in the beginning of the video, maybe not. But I've never had my makeup done before by her or anyone else for that matter. On my wedding day, I did my makeup. <laughs> Ew, what was that? <laughs> Was that on my wedding day I did my makeup myself she did my entire bridal party she did a fantastic job but I've never had anyone do my makeup and I've always wanted her to do my face but for some reason she was like you know like giddy about it and didn't want to do it for whatever reason but she did an amazing job you know I'm very picky but she passed the test so I liked it I really I really did I really liked it I think it came out nice I yeah. love the eyes I yeah. love the eyes better on her yeah. than on me we're gonna give you guys a close up of the eyes come on so that's the eyes close your eyes and I don't know if you guys can tell, but because I have hooded eyes and she has like more fuller eyes, it just, the eye look just looks way much better on her. Yeah. But she has no like lid space. Yeah. Like her lid space to her eyebrows is so small compared to mine. I have so much space to work with. But yeah. with all of this space, my eyes turn out hooded. So it was a little bit like tricky but it came out really nice and I yeah. like the eye look on her better. I was also scared for her brows because she's like... She's like an elephant when it comes to her bra. She gets it done. Oh, okay. literally. Okay. She gets it done. She eats it up like an alligator. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pause. Um, pause on that one. But what she's trying to say is I'm very particular with my brows. You know, I just go to my channel and you guys will see the work that I put in. Okay. But like yeah. I said before, she passed the test and... Yeah, she did a pretty good job, but this is a fun video. We should do this more I often. know. I like it. I really like it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to film a video as well for her channel, you guys. Yeah. We are going to film um, the switch my makeup tag. So we're going to switch makeup because mm -hmm. as you guys can see, she's way much lighter than I am. Mm -hmm. And our our foundation and concealer, mm -hmm. that alone is going to throw the whole video yeah. off. But I'm excited for us to film it, so make sure that you guys go ahead and check out, um, subscribe to her channel so that when we film that video, you'll see it. Yeah. But yeah, um, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying to the end and basically seeing our craziness. Um, that's about it for this video, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye, Bye. guys. Like, she's hanging on my thread. <laughs> I, can, I can see it. I can see the shit. I can see that shit.